Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. And today we are going to be having a look at Elasticizer. So if you have ever watched my channel at all before, then thank you very much and thank you for being here. If you haven't, uh, Elasticizer is something I have touched on from the Philip Kingsley range. Um, now, I absolutely love Philip Kingsley products and that is because it's all designed about trying to achieve and getting you the best hair you possibly can have, whether that be fine, whether that be thinning, whether it be really, really delicate in texture. And of course, we all know that if you're even a man or if you're a woman, that hair, that type of texture can be completely, really frustrating, really quite difficult to manipulate into a style. Now, you may think that looking at my hair, that I have a lot of hair. And I'll be honest, I have fine textured hair, but I have a lot of it. Now, I've recently had a few comments on my channel in regards to asking and questioning why I go on about thicker hair and trying to keep the thickest possible hair. Well, simply because back in 2015, I lost a patch of my hair on this side, and then it started to thin out throughout the front. Somebody's just sent me a message. <laughs> and then following that, um, I had, a, for I would say for around about 18 months, I had a lot of problems in the front of my hair. It's a lot thicker now, five years on. Um, I used a product called Viviscal, which really, really transformed my hair and really made such a difference. And I still take Viviscal now. Um, I took it for seven months back then, and I'm taking, I think I'm coming in for about the eighth month now. And anybody who's concerned with their hair, anyone who's concerned with sort of breakage, thinning, um, a whole host of problems, but, uh, possibly that you're not, you've, you're not well, perhaps you're on lots of all different medications. Viviscal is fantastic for really keeping your hair as healthy and as full as possible. But that's not what we're talking about today. Now, we are talking about Elasticizer from Philip Kingsley. Philip Kingsley, the easiest way to kind of describe Philip Kingsley, if you have not really been aware of what Philip Kingsley range is, or Philip Kingsley himself, he was a trichologist, which is the study of hair and the scalp. So it's not styling the hair, it's looking after the health of the hair and the scalp. A little bit like a dermatologist, which is for skin, of course, but a trichologist is for hair and the scalp. So elasticizer, here it is, let me show you, but you will be shocked at the size. This is the super size. So this is elasticizer. Now, this I did not buy. My mum bought this. And there's a story behind this. My mum bought this as elasticizer. She has very, very long hair, very long, long hair. Um, always looks absolutely immaculate, really, really glamorous. And she gets such a shine on it. So I have recently, since July, started having some highlights put in my hair, which I really, really like. I like it quite cool, quite trendy. Why did I do it, you may ask, being as a young man? Um, because I felt really boring, quite flat, quite down with all hair problems, and, um, hair problems, health problems and things all the time. So I wanted to sort of just liven things up a bit more cheerful, a bit more youthful. And you know what? It has worked. And I'm really quite pleased with it. And it looks really quite cool. I like a style like this where I've got a bit of length now because it covers up my hearing aids. It's not necessarily uh, something which I would necessarily feel comfortable in sort of uh, jumping straight in if it wasn't. I did I did take a lot of time to think about this, I have to admit. It's something which uh, I'm, I'm pleased I done, but um, believe you me, it took a lot of time to think about it. Because the, the reason is I've heard so much about bleach, what it does to the hair, what it does to the cuticle of the hair. And I would sort of be quite... I would be thoughtful whether or not to have it done again. I think what I might do is I might let it grow out now. Um, I might have it done for Christmas. I'm not too sure. Um, but to be quite honest with you, you do notice a change in the texture. It does make the hair feel a little bit more drier. So you do therefore have to keep on top of the condition, the moisture levels of your hair. And you just have to be a little bit more careful because it does make the hair a little bit more delicate. It doesn't make it fragile, but it makes it delicate, um, especially when you're styling things. So you have to use heat protectants. You have to use sort of oils to keep it looking great. You have to use conditioner and things like that every time you wash your hair, which you should do anyway. But of course, if you're in a rush, you might not necessarily do that. And this is where Elasticizer comes in. So Elasticizer is a pre-shampoo treatment. Now, Philip Kingsley, the best way I can describe that, as I said, and then I digress slightly, was if you think of the most famous sort of footballer or the most famous sort of music artist, Philip Kingsley is, is that just that of the hair world. Um, so yeah, he has it absolutely transformed people, all sort of stars of Hollywood, um, all sort of, um, you name it, 
he's transformed their hair. Um, and very, very often to this day, you've only got to have a look on Philip Kingsley and the quality of the clinics which they offer from New York and London, um, just the services and things they provide and how they've transformed people's hair is truly quite incredible, I have to admit. Um, if I had a problem with my hair and my hair was getting super thin and getting thinner and thinner, then I would certainly have a look at the Philip Kingsley Clinic. So that's a little bit about them as well. Um, but elasticizer. This, I believe, is what Philip Kingsley himself created. Not, of course, this variation because this is a uh, this is a scented variation of coconut breeze. I'm going to tell you the story behind that because I didn't buy that at all. But this apparently is the product which Philip Kingsley created for Audrey Hepburn, I believe, um, and for wanting to style her hair all the time. I'm really popular this morning, getting all these messages. Let's just turn this off. Do excuse me whilst I am. Um, any other time my phone doesn't go off. It's every time I start filming, honestly. So yeah, so this was created for Audrey Hepburn's hair. How incredible is that? I have to admit. So when you think of that real classic sort of time back then with the amount of hairstyles and things, you can imagine how much manipulation went into styling somebody's hair, such as Audrey Hepburn. So when you think that we have that product now, and of course they've built on it, Philip Kingsley have changed it over time. They've added different um, sort of scents with it. This one is Coconut Breeze. And this was actually purchased by my mum. She absolutely loves anything coconut. And I was saying that my hair was getting quite dry. And my mum suggested, why don't you just put this in, leave it in your hair. She explained to me what it does. And elasticizer is a pre-shampoo treatment. And this is really quite complicated necessarily for <laughs> the means to understand it was anyway. And then to see how it works. So in terms of elasticizer, if you imagine the elastin, which is sort of like the the sort of the stretchiness of the hair. So for example, if you've got really stressed, really damaged hair, when you pull the hair or when you actually, you would go to sort of style your hair, rather than sort of that little bit of a spring, which healthy hair should have, it would just snap. If it was really unhealthy and damaged, it would just snap. Now, very often I would imagine if you were to continue having your hair bleached and highlighted, that would be, that would be the readily thing to be quite honest with you. Your hair would break, it would snap, it would go out of condition. Elasticizer, you put that on your hair before your shampooing is. You wet your hair down and then you pump several. So from this, if you was to have this, this is an investment. I asked my mum, this is around about £85. It does go up to about a hundred and more. But this has been in our house nearly for, I would say, nearly over a year. And I think it, the shelf life of it is about 18 months. Um, you'd have to double check with that with me, but it's still just as good. It's used and used and used by my mum. Um, it's used now by me. Um, and I've suggested different people in our household using it as well. Because yes, okay, it looks a bit of a feminine product, but if it puts a condition back in your hair, everybody likes to look good, men, women, what have you. Um, young, old, we all do stuff with our hair. Um, so it's really important to keep that condition in your hair and elasticizer is a pre-shampoo treatment which you wet your hair first of all and then like for example this I use three pumps of this and it's really intensely creamy it's almost like that you've got a cream which you would row which you would row what was that which you would rub onto your body if you have really really dry skin so it's really creamy it's really ultra intense moisturizing and literally you rub that in your hair and it's literally like rubbing lotion in your hair the coconut breeze has got an amazing smell. I'm going to read you a little bit about this on the back here, but my mum loves anything coconut. That's why we've got this variation. Um, and there are other variations. I believe there's like uh, fruit scents. There's, there's um, I know there's a pomegranate in cassis, I think. Um, there's, um, I think it's Mayan orange. I think there's several different variations and there's an intense one, for ultra, ultra damaged hair. And there's one without a smell as well. Um, and I have used the one without a smell before, but I've just kept it, not really looked at it, put it out of the way when I've had it as a gift set bought for me before for bodybuilding the hair. Um, which again is by uh, Philip Kingsley. I've done that also on my channel, which is great. But the elasticizer, after you have kept that in, now you're gonna you're gonna think how long would I keep that in for my hair? So I would say around 20 minutes. So it is an investment for time. Do it of the weekend. Do it of an evening when you're not doing too much. Very often, what I do is I put it in my hair when it's wet and I comb it back like I've styled my hair and I've slicked it back. If I've been at home and I've just been studying or if I've been working from home, my hair feels really ultra stressed or really quite damaged or quite dry. I've used a little bit of this and I've actually styled my hair back into my 1920s, 1910 slick back looks. So hard parting on the side and slicked back over with the elasticizer. Then come the evening, shampoo the hair off and condition and your hair feels absolutely really ultra smooth. And the thing what I want to say is it doesn't make the hair feel unnatural. You know, sometimes you can use these conditioners and it makes your hair feel 
unnatural. It makes your hair feel so soft and sleek like glass that you can just tell that there's something in there and it's going to have a bit of a pronounced effect if you keep using that product in the future. It can taint the hair. It can make the hair feel quite dull. It can make the hair eventually feel quite coarse because sometimes I always think that sometimes if you're conditioning, conditioning, conditioning your hair, then you go to dry your hair. It feels like you've got this real cakey sort of clay-like product in your hair. So that's not great. Elasticizer makes that natural sort of real softness, that moisture into the hair. And you can feel the strength just being pumped in. And you know that might sound absolutely crazy. But if you are going to try this, it's a perfect gift for somebody as well. Now, my brother's partner, who lives in America, had recently visited us. We done all of the the COVID restrictions and things, I and mean, we had a really really lovely time. It was amazing to see her, um, and she's a very very lovely person. And I gifted this to her, and as a gift, and I think it's it comes in a small box. And I can't remember. I think it's about two hundred mils. Is thirty five pounds here in the UK. Now, yeah, okay, that's a little bit of an investment. But when you think this is eighty five, if you're not sure you would use all of this, the smaller one being thirty five pounds. And the price variations of Philip Kingsley change vastly, so always do your research on that. But anybody who loves colouring their hair, anybody who loves styling their hair, whether it be men, whether it be women, whether it be teenagers, sort of that little bit older again, or whether it be possibly your nan, your grandparents, what have you. My nan literally has her hair done weekly. And I, I and she has it. She's 94 and she has her hair coloured. It's usually about every six weeks. And she has her hair styled with heat, 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 heat. You name it. Rollers, blow dryers. My nan has huge volumised hair all the time. Always looks glamorous and like a film star. This would be perfect for her. I haven't been able to see her lately because of, I'm always phoning to keep in touch with her and the people who look after her. Um, but it's breaking my heart at the moment because of COVID. I can't see her, which is absolutely soul destroying. But next time I see her again, She's going to be trying elasticizer because it's just great for anybody who likes to style the hair. Me, for example, I love using so much different hairspray, so many different gels, you name it, I use it. And what that does is it, in, after a while, it starts to have that effect, doesn't it? It almost ages the hair. It makes the hair feel drier, coarser, you name it. We do a lot to move manipulate to our hair to make it look good and how it suits our character. That's what I like to do. So something like elasticizer allows you to keep doing that. For example, I've used heat on my hair today. I've passed a straightener through my hair today. It's a lot to do, but what I've done first thing this morning was I used four pumps of this elasticizer, three to four, when my hair was wet when I first woke up this morning really nice and early. I had this in my hair, came down, had some coffee, checked my emails, done some things, then washed it out, then conditioned, and you name it, my hair is then ready to go. It feels stronger. It feels that you can be a little bit more, you don't have to be so fragile with the hair. It really, really does put strength into the hair. It puts moisture into the hair. Let's have a look now at elasticizer on the back here. So this is, so this is coconut breeze, don't forget. This is my mum's, not mine, um, but I am just borrowing it. And dare I say, I do use it quite a lot. Um, so it's, and I, I have to admit, I love Philip Kingsley because I think Philip Kingsley puts so much into designing products which would look after fine textured hair, would make hair appear thicker, fuller, um, and keeping the hair on our head rather than in the sink or in the shower hole or plug, what, what have you. So let's read a little bit about it now. So inspired by the King Kingsley's love of America's West Coast, Coconut Breeze Elasticizer captures the radiant mix of sunshine, clear blue waters, and pure white sands of this of this enthrilling area. Oh, <laughs> you were on me. I have to admit that tripped me up. Notes of bergamot, orange, and soft peach encapsulate the encapsulate sorry the freshness of living by the sea and a heart of coconut, jasmine, and velvety vanilla, reflected with the vibrancy of the magical sunset. Elasticizer is an intensive, super-conditioning, pre-shampoo treatment, which adds elasticity, bounce, and shine to all hair types, now infused with the rich, exotic scent of coconut breeze. Now, to my, to my sort of defence here, I usually wear glasses. I don't like to wear glasses on my films and things because I get a reflection from the light and I still haven't cracked that yet. So forgive me for words which I'm sort of squinting and looking at, but hopefully you get that it's a real super pre-shampoo conditioning treatment. Let's move on. So if I just have a quick look in the ingredients, I wouldn't necessarily do this, but I can see straight away from here. And the reason I don't do this is because you've got all the scientific names and things on here, really long names, which we don't necessarily know necessarily what oil that is. 
But right away from here, I can see there's water in here. I can see there's castor seed oil in here. I can see there is olive oil in here. I can see there's a whole host of all different products. There's hydronized elastin in here. Um, all sorts of things in regards to the health of the hair, so oils. In hydronized elastin, it's the main thing which really, really pushes this product out there as being an absolute hero for transforming damaged and dry hair and coloured hair. Um, and of course this is men and women. Don't forget this is men and women. What on earth is wrong with the world if a man cannot use a hair product to look after your hair? Everybody wants to look good. I always find that crazy when somebody says that. It doesn't mean nothing. I mean, honestly. Hygienized elastin is in this product for mimicking the elastin which is already in the hair, binding to the hair, locking that water in when you've wet your hair down, and really, really boosting the health of your hair. So if you can imagine, it sort of cements and builds up that cuticle of the hair, and each time you use this, it gets better and better and better. The first time I used it, I thought to myself, that's a little bit naff. I'll be honest, that's a little bit naff. Didn't really do too much to me, to my hair. My mum paid a hell of a lot of money for that. Excuse me. It's great when you're studying. Anyway, so it's it's great for locking all of that moisture in your hair and it gets better and better and better. And when I first started using it, is, it does take some getting used to, I won't lie, but after time you will feel the condition starting to creep back into your hair and the strength. And it really, really is a great thing to use. So I urge you, have a think, have a look. If your hair isn't acting how you want it to, it might be getting a bit thinner. Thin hair can still look amazing. Absolutely amazing. Fine hair can still look amazing. Thicker hair, dry, coarse, it can still look amazing. Elasticizer is a great product to try. I'm not endorsing this product. I am just saying it's an amazing product. I want to shout about it. I'm not represented by any company at all on my channel. It's just something I enjoy and what I really, really love to do. So I hope you've enjoyed that clip. Elasticizer is really, really great. The last thing I'm going to do is just go through the directions, which is for best use, use regularly before shampooing, wet hair and applying sections. So for me, it's literally just comb my hair back, part it one, two, three, and then just rub the elasticizer in three or four pumps of this. You don't have to use loads, you could use a little bit, um, but you will find out what suits your hair if you need a bit more, if you need a little bit less. So then work into hair with your fingertips. It says here cover with a plastic cap and leave for 10 to 20 minutes before washing. I think that's just to lock the heat in from your scalp and I think that would increase the effect, the conditioning effect and getting all that hydrogenized elastin and all those oils into your hair. I don't do that, I don't feel I need to. Um, you can just put it in your hair, you can literally style your hair if you are like me um, and you can just comb your hair back and put that in. If you're a woman you can just rub this in your hair if it's wet, tied up at the back absolutely amazing, probably plait the hair, you could even do that, I know my mum's done that before, um, and it gets to work, absolutely amazing. So just on last bit here, for intensive nourishment, apply to damp hair overnight and wash up in the morning. I haven't done that, I don't think I would do that, I don't think I necessarily need to. Um, and then again here, rinse well and follow the appropriate Philip Kingsley shampoo, conditioner and scalp toner. You don't have to do that, of course. Philip Kingsley products, they are an investment, they are quite high in cost, but of course behind that as well is the quality and everything which comes with the Philip Kingsley sort of holy grail behind their hair care products. Philip Kingsley sadly is no longer on this earth, um, but he leaves a legacy for us all to enjoy with hair care products. Okay, thank you very, very much for watching my clip, and until next time, I hope you really enjoyed that, I know I did. Um, we will see you then. Bye for now.